Let's say you use Zoho inventory for your business. You will have teams responsible for managing sales transactions, handling purchases, and overseeing the stock levels of your inventory. However, you want to ensure that all of these are supervised and approved by a manager before they are finalized. Here's where approvals come into play. In Zoho inventory, you can configure approvals for different entities. Let's learn more about them in this video. To configure sales approval in your organization, log in to your Zoho inventory account. Go to Settings and select Approvals under Organization. Under the Sales Approval tab, click Enable Sales Approval. You can select your sales approval preference. If you select All Approvers Can Approve, all the users in your organization who have the permission to approve sales transactions like invoices, sales orders and credit notes can approve or reject them. By clicking Show Approvers, you will be able to view a list of users who have the permission to perform the action. To configure multi-level approval, that is, set up multiple stages of approval for sales transactions, choose this option. You will be able to add each stage of approval by clicking Add New Level. Note that regardless of multiple levels of approval, Admins can bypass them and approve transactions once and for all. For the purpose of this video, let's select this option. Select the notification preferences below. Mark the box if you want to send email and in-app notifications when transactions are submitted for approval and notify the submitter when a transaction is approved. Then click Save. You have configured your sales preferences. Since we have set up multi-level approval, upon submission of an invoice by the submitter, the level 1 approver will receive both an email and an in-app notification as per the configured settings, prompting them to approve or rejecting the invoice. They can also view the approval flow for the invoice by clicking View Approval Details. If the transaction passes the first approval, the next approver in line will receive an email and an in-app notification to verify the transaction. Likewise, all the subsequent approvers who are a part of the multi-level approval process will be notified when it's their turn. If the approver is an admin, they will be able to bypass the approvers and finally approve a transaction that requires multi-level approval. If rejected, the submitter can make changes to the invoice and resubmit it. Once all these approvers approve, the submitter will be notified about it and the invoice can be sent to the customer. If you no longer want to use approval for your sales transactions, you can go to the configuration page and select Don't configure sales approval under Sales Approval Preferences. Similarly, you can configure Purchase Approval. Under the Purchase Approval tab, click Enable Purchase Approval. Select your Purchase Approval and Notification Preferences and click Save. The users who have the permission to approve purchase transactions like bills, purchase orders and vendor credits will be able to approve or reject them. You can also configure approvers and review inventory adjustments before approving them. Under the Inventory Approval tab, click Enable Inventory Approval. Select your Inventory Approval and Notification Preferences and click Save. The users who have the permission will be able to approve or reject inventory adjustments and transfer orders. If you have multiple users with different roles in your organization, you can grant them the permission to approve sales and purchase transactions and manage inventory. To do so, go to Settings and select Roles under Users and Roles. Go to the respective module. Mark the box under Approve. Now users with this role will be allowed to approve transactions. 
And that's a wrap for our video on approvals in Zoho Inventory. Thanks for watching.